Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Toy Division, and we got Giant Man. That's right, there was one left on the shelf when I went into my local EB Games and I said, yoink, <laughs> had to have it, had to have it. All the other ones were there for pre-order and this one was waiting for me to purchase. I would say not a bad price. No, I don't have a membership. I think I should get a membership, what do you think? Anyway, let's open this up. <clears throat> this is cool. This is the insert. <laughs> I dig this. So, Germany. <laughs> anyway, there's also a little uh, instruction pad here. Don't need it. And right over here, we've got, this is how he's actually packaged. <laughs> it's freaking weird. All right, let's pull this guy out. Okay, guys, I don't know the uh, Build-A-Figure. I don't actually have the Build-A-Figure uh, character for this when it came out. I just have this <laughs> at this point. I think I have a leg somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Don't really feel like looking for it. But this is indeed the character. This is Giant Man. Yes, and he's freaking gorgeous. He is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, full range of motion. He's got double jointed elbows. Not that it really helps him do a whole lot, but whatever. It's a little bit more than a single joint would usually be. Uh, he can do the full splits. Look at this. That is beautiful. And back down, he's got the rotation there. Double knee joint. Boom. Gonna get a little freaky. I mean, you saw the way that he was in the package for crying out loud. He's got the pivots right down there. It didn't look like he did. It looks like that's pretty much all he's got though. Um, no, he's actually got the regular up and down. Yeah, you can see the little joint in there. Anyway, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, he's got waist swivel. Uh, his leaning back motion is all but negligent. His bending forward is almost all but negligent too. I kind of don't like that too much. I'd rather there be more, but whatever. He's got pretty decent do 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 thing he's got an up let's see it looks like it's only yeah it looks like it's oh that's weird like it's only single joint for the head oh that's painful obviously pops off ball joint good to know Ugh, but yeah it's actually you know what if i could do that then oh no huh, that's just me it can actually do that okay i just have to wear that out a little bit more Okay, so he should be able to do a lot more than, yeah, okay, okay, much better. He can actually fly. I wouldn't make him fly. <laughs> and he can, oh, look down so much that his head actually pops off. Good to know. So anyway, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, he's only in hand and fist. For such a big character, I don't see why they couldn't have given him more than just a the hand and fist. I mean, like, why couldn't we just pop these off and do something else with them also? That's... A little bit sad, a little bit sad. I would like to have a hand, at least one hand, that's kind of open like that so I can reach down and grab or, you know, reach out and try and grab. I mean, that's kind of, that's exceedingly disappointing <laughs> the more I think about it. Uh, he can go up like this. He's got that, oh, jeez. You gotta actually lift him up a little bit, his shoulder up, in order to bring him down like that. I don't know if these are actual build a figure um, pieces just put together and sold like this or not I don't know so I don't know what the size comparison is next to the build a figure piece but boom I will however give you size comparison with uh, a regular character let's say Loki over here boom so about a good twice as tall wow really Loki doesn't want to stand ah, you were just standing I'll just lean him uh, here's a slightly bigger Build-A-Figure piece, Caliban. Boom. You know what? The biggest piece that I had, well, up at the moment until this thing came out. Yeah, that's the Build-A-Figure right there for uh, Hulkbuster. And this thing is actually taller. It's actually tall, just a little tiny bit taller, but taller nonetheless. Almost a head taller. Cool. So yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot. I mean, I wouldn't be disappointed if they gave us one oh, like five times as tall. <laughs> I would probably still buy it, but what I would need 
is for them to actually have the darn thing, like, be able to have a hand that opens. And I actually want, yeah, like that. Anyway, this is a cool figure. It's not going to be, like, movie-worthy necessarily. Maybe if you got smaller figures and had them running around like this, that could work. But for the most part, whatever. This is a pretty cool figure. I'm down with them giving us all of those Build-A-Figure pieces separately. You know, make us wait a year or two or three. I think this would be three years now, and we got this uh, piece out. I'm totally cool with it, because sometimes some of us just can't collect all those other Build-A-Figure pieces. And plus, the only people who are going to be really upset, you know, say, oh, I went through all the trouble to get the Build-A-Figure pieces, and then they just release a Build-A-Figure. The only people who are genuinely upset about that are the scalpers. So, screw the scalpers. That's, that's just real talk. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.